Hello, everyone. This is Brian N. Brooks, a.k.a. DJ High Praise. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. For those of you who don't know me, I am the owner and senior program director for DJ High Praise Radio and Musical Tapestry Radio. And you can find me online at djhighpraise.com. That's where you'll find all of my stuff. I'm just so excited about this new venture for me to share my playlist with you. It's a list of playlists. I will not be playing music. I'm not one of those DJs that you see on TV or a club DJ. I am an internet radio DJ. So I wanted to make that uh, distinction and j just so you can expect what to expect. <laughs> and and I'm just talking about music. I love music. I've loved music since I was a child. And I'm just so excited for this opportunity to be able to share with you the things that I do. So since it is the Christmas holiday, the holiday uh, season, I'm going to share with you one of my favorite music. One of my favorite playlists I'm calling Musical Christmas Card, Remembering Mom. Now, these songs, this Christmas music playlist is awesome. I love it because it reminds me of my mother. She passed away in 2009. And every year I remember her, how wonderful she made Christmas for us as a family. My brothers and sisters can attest as to her being so creative and being so positive during the holidays, especially during the holidays. Um, we didn't have money for decorations. So she took construction paper and she drew she created our Christmas decorations that we would put in the window and the angel that we would put up on our tree. And she was a great, great artist. So I really miss you, mom. My mother's name was Janice Genevieve Ellis. And this is for you. I'm going to share with you this, um, the, these, these wonderful songs. So I'm going to share my screen, do one thing at a time here. Here we go. So this is the playlist. And I'm calling it, again, from Musical Tapestry Radio, Musical Christmas Card, Remembering Mom. So I'm going to share each of the songs that, and just talk a little bit about each of the songs and, and what they mean to me. And hopefully you'll find them interesting. So let, let's get to some of the first songs. See, the first song is by my mother's favorite favorite, favorite artist of all time, Miss Gloria Lynn. And she has uh, passed away, but there wasn't a day that passed that we did not hear Gloria Lynn in our house. My mother loved, loved, loved Gloria Lynn. And so this song is called On Christmas Day. Now, when we were growing up, we did not have the record. My mother did not have the record, but she would always talk about this song and, and talk about, oh, how much she how much she loved it. And so I wasn't able to actually hear it until after my mother passed away because they the record company, Everest Records, finally released a box set that included this song. So it reminds me of her. My mother used to sing the song and, and say, oh, I wish I had the record. So On Christmas Day is is the, the um, song that my mother would have really loved um, by Gloria Lynn. The next song is, of course, Nat King Cole, The Christmas Song. Now this song, we used to hear it on the radio all the time when I was growing up in Philadelphia, my hometown, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, go Eagles. So we love, love, love this song. And I really didn't get into the album until after my mother bought the record. She actually bought the record, and brought it home, and we would only play the first song, which is the Christmas song. But one day my mother said, just let the record play, just let the record play and, and you'll see, you know, how much you'll, you'll like the rest of it. So we played the whole album front to back. It was vinyl back then, people. It was a record, not a CD, not an MP3. It was a record. And so the, the first I would finish and then the, the, we turned it over and it started out with Hark the Herald Angels Sing. And, and the rest of the album was just awesome. So it is a classic. It is a staple for my Christmas music every year. Mr. Nat King Cole, The Christmas Song. The next song on the list is by my mother's, one of my mother's favorite artists, Gladys Knight and the Pips. And the song is entitled, Do You Hear What I Hear? I tell you, when I hear that song, I think about our, our home, 
I think about my mother cooking. I think about us preparing for Christmas, decorating the tree, and just celebrating together as a family. For those of you that may have never heard it, this is a beautiful, beautiful song. This album was released in 1975 on Buddha Records. And so it, 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 it is a classic. And Whitney Houston did a version of Do You Hear What I Hear for um, the uh, special, uh, very special Christmas uh, album series. And so it's reminiscent of this version. This was the original, but Whitney Houston's version is reminiscent of Gladys Knight's version. I hope that those of you that have never heard it, you need to listen to it. Next up is the song by uh, the Temptations entitled Silent Night. This song it was is a staple. I tell you what, th this was one of the most beautiful, beautiful Christmas songs I had ever heard. And the thing about it, the the way that the Temptations sang it, it it it's like a gospel song, really, it, and and it is beautifully done with, with with Dennis Edwards on lead vocals. It really is a beautiful song, and, and you feel the. I'm just going to say, you feel the presence of the Lord when you hear this version of Silent Night. So if you've never heard it, you need to check it out. That that's uh, my my commercials for the radio station. And so the next song is from an album called uh, A Christmas Gift for You from Phil Spector. And Phil Spector had a number of artists that that uh, recorded on this on this album. And this song, Sleigh Ride, is, was one of my mother's favorite. And it was by the Ronettes. The Ronettes uh, was a girl group. And then you can see them right there, the Ronettes, uh, with, with um, a Ronnie Spector on lead vocals. And that song, it's just beautiful. Every year that I hear it, it just it 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 just makes me feel warm inside, and it just it just fills me with so much joy. And and I loved it when they finally digitally remastered the album. It sounds so good and pristine. You guys will love it. Next up, we have a classic, of course, Donny Hathaway. This Christmas. This song is, is it just reminds me of being with my brothers and sisters. I have an older brother. His name is Eric. And Mr. Eric Brooks, he um, used to just love this song. He would sing. And then when we would get to the part, well, when Donnie Hathaway got to the part, uh, shake your hand, shake, shake a hand, he used to reach his hand out and actually want to shake our hands as he was singing the song. So every time I think of this song, every time I hear this song, I think of the fun times. That, that we had as children uh, uh, listening to this classic. And it's, it's a classic to this day. There's nobody that can do it like Donny Hathaway. Next up is a song that's on this album by the, the Harry Simone Corral. And the song is entitled The Little Drummer Boy. And it is a classic. It is the actual um, original version of the Little Drummer Boy, that was uh, inspired by the, the claymation um, cartoon that we would watch every Christmas by, by Rankin Bass. For those of you that are old enough to remember the Rankin Bass, the uh, Santa Claus is coming to town and, and Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and the Year Without a Santa Claus, but um, they did one called The Little Drummer Boy, and that's that inspired the song. And so this one, it, it, it really makes me happy when I hear it because my mother would actually sit down. We had a little keyboard in the house and she used to say, I'm in concert, I'm in concert. And she would sit down at her little chord organ and, and, and she would play the song and sing along with it, you know, and it was one of her favorite Christmas songs. So it just makes me think of her this time of year. Okay, more commercials. Uh, moving on, this album, Christmas with Mahalia is a classic and it really, this album kind of, it really turned me on to Mahalia Jackson. I really, this is the first time I had really heard of her um, when I was a child through this Christmas album. And it made me want to explore uh, more of, of her music. And that's why I include uh, Mahalia Jackson on my radio station through the music that, that we, um, 
that we provide. But happy birthday to you, our Lord, is beautiful. I mean, it really does take you to church. And, and for those of us that are Christians, it really leads us in worship. I mean, when you hear the song, it makes you want to worship God. So I hope for those of you that have never heard it, some of the younger generation that may have never heard this song, this is timeless. Christmas with Mahalia, happy birthday to you, our Lord. I hope you enjoy it. Next up is a, is a classic, Someday at Christmas by Stevie Wonder. Oh, I tell you what. Say, someday at Christmas, men won't be boys playing with bombs as kids play with toys. I tell you, that lyric, even to this day, with all the things that are happening in the world and the wars that we see, I mean, you, it's a prayer, really, that, that one day we, we pray that, that we will not have to deal with, with war. And, and that day is coming soon when Jesus comes back, for those of us that really believe, you know, and we pray that, that one day at Christmas, during this time that we will find peace. And we pray for all of those that are going through right now in different countries around the world, uh, people that are going through uh, abuse and loss of jobs and loss of home and all those things. We are praying that, that they find some peace during this time of year. And whenever we can have an opportunity to help someone, we're going to reach out a hand and help someone. So I encourage you that are watching this video, when you listen to this song someday at Christmas, offer a prayer for those that, that are less fortunate than you. So I hope you guys enjoy that when you, when you check it out. Next up is a song that really, really, um, again, it's Gladys Knight and the Pips, but, but this is a solo by Gladys Knight. It's called It's the Happiest Time of the Year. I tell you, this song is so great. I tell you from the instrumentation, I, I, I love strings. And, and the strings on this song really take you on a journey. And I hope that you, you can find this song online or tune into my radio station, uh, um, Musical Tapestry Radio, to, to check out this song. I will include um, the times when the when the uh, playlist will be playing um, underneath this video on YouTube. So you have to check it out. You'll have a link to the website, to the website, not the website, to the radio station and the time that the playlist will be playing. But you'll enjoy this song, I tell you. Okay, I'm moving on. Oh, The Whispers, Happy Holidays to You. This song... During Christmas time, when this album was released in the late 70s, I believe it was released in 1978, and my mother would play this album front to back, every single song, all day until Christmas Day. No, all day until New Year's Day. <laughs> so I hope that, that uh, you will check this song out. This song is a classic. For me, as far as I'm concerned, this song, it's just as much of a classic as Nat King Cole's The Christmas Song. The, these are the whispers, and the song is entitled Happy Holidays to You. I hope you enjoy it. Next up, let's see. We got to go through some commercials. Oh, one of my favorite singers was a member of this group, and that was the late, great Minnie Ripperton. And the album is, uh, well, the group is Rotary Connection. The album is Peace, and the song is called Christmas Love. This is a beautiful song, and it showcased Minnie Ripperton um, at her, er, in the early days when she, before Loving You, before Memory Lane, before all of those songs, she and uh, this great singer right here, Sydney Barnes, just, just, wear this song out. They just really, really sing it. And, and it encourages you to give love on, on Christmas and, and, and encourages everyone to love one another. I really love the lyrics of this song and Minnie and Sydney, they sing it so beautifully. So this is Rotary Connection. The song is Christmas Love and it comes from their album entitled Peace. I hope you love it because I do. Next up is one of the, one of the groups that made all of us want to have froze and want to sing the jackson five <laughs> and this christmas album is a classic give love on christmas day there's so many different artists through the years that have uh, recorded a version of give love on christmas day but michael jackson in my opinion is the original he set the standard for what this song is and i love you know people making lists buying special gifts you know, that, that whole, it sets the stage for what the Christmas uh, season is all about. So I hope you guys pick up a copy of this, tune into my radio station, Musical Tapestry Radio, to hear this great song. 
Next up, again, Gladys Knight and the Pips. This song is entitled Ave Maria, and this really is a version of Ave Maria that is very, very classic um, from Johann Sebastian Bach, and it's from their album entitled Bless This House, and it really is a beautiful version. She sings it in Latin. So I hope those of you, oh, well, this version might be in English. There is another version on the album that is in Latin, and it's just as beautiful. But but this Gladys Knight, she keeps it traditional, she keeps it classic, and you're going to love it. Let's see. Next up is one of the, the favorite groups. It's from an album um, entitled uh, Soul Christmas, and it's by The Drifters, and it's called White Christmas. And for those of you that are uh, Christmas movie buffs like me, it's featured in the film uh, Home Alone. And I hope that that um, you enjoy the, this song. The the it, it never ages. Even though it was released in 1954, it's still a classic. Every year, you have to check out. You have to check out and listen to The Drifters' White Christmas. In my opinion, it is the best version of White Christmas ever recorded. Okay? <laughs> Well, I hope you guys enjoy going through this playlist with me, and I hope that you tune in to my radio stations, so I'm going to let you check them out. This is uh, one, my, one of my radio stations. This is DJ High Praise Radio, and you can find it on my website right here on djhighpraise.com, and right now we're playing, we're featuring C.C. Winans, Oh Holy Night, and this is the other radio station. And this is Musical Tapestry Radio. We're playing the OJs, singing I Want to Be Home for Christmas. And I hope you you check it out and enjoy it. It's free, it's online, and you can get it anywhere in the world where you have internet access. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, this my first uh, video of this type, going through my playlist. Check it out. Remember, below the video, you have to... Uh, subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel and also subscribe to the radio station. You'll have, you'll find the links below this video. Well, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy New Year, Happy Holidays. So I hope to, that, that you stay with me to explore new music and I, I'll be here for you. Just let me know that you're watching. Until next time, see you soon.